Happy birthday. Appreciate you. Because y'all know I lost five pounds. It's not a real Target run if you don't stop by Starbucks, correct? Mm. Y'all, the nerve of it to be storming. <laughs> don't worry about it. Ain't nobody better. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I am in my thirties, okay? I don't wanna be a big people anymore. So you guys remember from last week's vlog, we took a trip to Chopped. And listen, your girl is ready to spin the block, okay? Because who can pass on fresh, flavorful, and healthy ingredients? Exactly. I love the variety within their menu. You can choose from pre-curated items or simply craft your own. We love a good customizable dish, right? They offer a wide variety of toppings and fillers for your salads, warm bowls, or wraps. And of course, they have an app where you can order ahead, see what's new at your local store, and earn rewards on every visit. It doesn't get any better than that, so let's just say I'll see you at Chopped very soon. You don't want to go outside this way? You want to go outside that way? Outside? No. All right. Listen. No, we're not going in the car. Now, do you want to go outside this way? Come on. You don't want to go outside? Come on. Listen. Yay, yeah, hey. Maybe say, come on. There we go. Phew. Y'all. Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Shanice Alicia, and welcome to another weekly vlog. So, happy Monday. The amount of things that's on my to-do list for today is pretty foolish. Number one, it's my husband's birthday, so you guys be sure to wish Sim a good one. Many, many, many years of abundant blessings, so on and so forth. But... I have a lot to plan out before tonight. We have reservations, okay? We are on this grown, sexy vibe, trying out different spots around Atlanta. And yeah, you guys will come along for that. But in the meantime, in between time, I need to go get waxed one. Because <sighs> if y'all know, y'all know. Sister Girl was here during my birthday. And yeah, we got to redeem ourselves. And then outside of that, I need to go pick up some a gift, a card. I need to grocery shop. I need to get some more fruit to juice for this week because we've been terrible with just eating out from celebrating birthdays to just being lazy all around, right? <sighs> and then I need to make some corrections to my CVS content, which the brand finally got back to me this morning. And I also need to sit down and record the voiceover for that morning routine vlog I filmed and edited. It just needs some music and the voiceover. And then after that, I need to upload all the content from my birthday week, all of last week, even the week before, huh? And get that into the editor so we can get that video edited and uploaded. So there's just a lot. I know everything can't be done today, which is fine, absolutely fine. But I had to wake up and wash my hair because, girl, my parents was here at the end of last week's vlog, which you guys didn't get to see much of. They came up Saturday, Sim and I, after we left Sweet, came back home, who came over, took some shots, went over to our neighbor's house, who is a fellow alumni of Fort Valley, and... We got a little lit with her, went to dinner, then I took my family to Blue. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you already seen that. So, yeah, I had one too many, <laughs> and my hair suffered the consequences, okay? Because I don't even want to tell y'all just how the rest of the night went. So, had to wake up, wash my hair, because yesterday was a recovery day. My parents went back home, and after I did that, tied it up, started some laundry, and here we are. 
rambling on this camera when I really need to get in the car and get to moving around. I also need to make a run to Whole Foods because I need to get some supplements, but that's on the other side of Jesus's back and I may not be able to do that until tomorrow. I was supposed to go all of last week, but here we are. Great start to the vlog, huh? Lots of stuff for us to do. Let's go ahead and get in the car after I bring my child inside and I'll meet you guys there. Ah, the weather was crazy last night, so I hope it doesn't end up raining today because I ain't got time, okay? Do y'all remember that heat protectant that I picked up from Sephora when I went with Brie for my birthday? Listen, she's the truth, okay? Extra strength. I'm trying to see how it's going to do whenever I actually go to style my hair for tonight. Not sure if I'm going to do another on the pony look or if I'm just going to rock out a bun. Just depends on the type of time that I have. Sim said he was going to get off early today. So we're contingent upon what time he gets off. Reservations are for eight. So they're pretty late. And he's been wanting to go to the movies to see something. I need to ask him what it is again because we may slide by the IPIC theater afterwards. But Sim has to get up super early in the morning. So I'm not sure how long he's going to want to be out for tonight. Um, Just making sure he didn't text me or anything. Phew. So, yes, it is 1230. I'm just trying to figure out my plan of attack. I need to go get this wax first. And then pick up Sam's gift and grab us some essentials from the grocery store because we truthfully need water and some meat to cook for meal prep. Let me see. Let me see. Just pulled up to the wax salon, you guys. I just rode in silence the entire way here. Does anybody else do that? Like, I legit be wrapped in my thoughts. And sometimes I'll get all the way where I'm going. And I realize, like, damn, I ain't turned on not a lick of music. So crazy. But let's go in here. Hopefully it's quick, easy, and painless. Um, There's literally nobody in the parking lot. It's a Monday afternoon for crying out loud so I'm sure that I'll be in and out Sprinkles. yes just the yes oh. okay all right you guys that was quick and easy why the wind always blowing when I come out of there my girl Brittany was not there but I had to get this wax done so now we're about to move on to target so i can grab sim his birthday card laying up on that table always got the back of my head looking crazy as hell when i get up need to fix my bun because i know it's smushed okay i'm not in here for this but how cute would these be as little pillows on the couch specifically this green one I wouldn't do the orange. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because it's really warm, but I like this one because it's still giving a little bit of minimal and neutral. Y'all look, they have the pumpkin in this color. Yep, gotta get it. All right, just grabbed a card for Sim. I forgot I had this birthday reward, so I guess I'll go ahead and use it, chef. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Wonderful. How are you today? I am good. Ooh, iced pumpkin cream chai. Oh, that's good. Okay, let me do that I've one. I've had that the last three days. It's let like me, I'm addicted. Yeah, let me grande. do that one. Yes, grande. And light ice, please. And then can I do your impossible breakfast sandwich? Mm-hmm. Let me double check, make sure I got it. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Phew, Target run and done you guys. Shout out to my girl Naya, I just met you inside. When I say I personally love, 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 love to meet you guys when I'm out. So y'all come up and speak to me. I am regular smuggling and we gonna sit around and chop it up, okay? Like we besties for resties. But I actually met two of you guys Saturday night at Blue Cantina. I do not remember y'all's name, but shout out to y'all for coming up and speaking, girl. I was a little lit. <laughs> I don't know what I was celebrating. My birthday 
birthday, sin birthday, whoever. But yeah, I was a little toe up. So you guys know it's not a real Target run if you don't stop by Starbucks, correct? I got me a breakfast sandwich and this pumpkin vanilla chai tea latte i hope i'm not lying but y'all heard me when i ordered it it's actually really really good i'm in the fall feels okay if the temperature we can get that to go down just a few notches we'll be good but this is really really good perfect amount of chai sweetness latte-esque vibe but not too much not too much on your girl mm -hmm. i was gonna get the apple crisp little new situation they got going on in the latte form but when i looked up and saw this chai tea latte right up my alley so now to go pick up sim's gift forgot i had to come do this ghetto ass shit y'all i hate pumping gas with a passion do y'all hear me mm. lord jesus the ghetto the ghetto I should have gotten me a Vinci water from Starbucks because, you know, I ain't drank none of that all day. We had $30. I literally just got gas when Bree and I were together, but I did a lot of stupid ass driving that day. And then we drove my car to dinner and out to Blue Saturday. So it's making sense. It's all coming back to me as to why I'm having to get gas again just four or five days after the fact knowing that i don't leave the house every day for real mm, depends all right you guys just got out of foot locker i picked up sim's gift i'll show it to you once i get back to the house he is officially off he got home like maybe 40 minutes or so ago so i am about to grab a bag how did i forget the bag hmm how did i forget a bag literally i walked out of target without a bag and i think I was thinking to myself that I probably have one at home, but yeah, I don't think so. So I need to go grab a bag, probably going to go to the Dollar More store because it's no longer the Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to make my way home. Happy birthday. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. My favorite person in the world. Mm -hmm. Tell the folks how you feel. You old. Yeah, I am. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Mm -hmm. Not old enough to crack some backs. Yeah. <laughs> I need to quit being inappropriate one of these days, huh? Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. Keep it spicy. All right, you guys. In true us fashion, Shanice is Russian. Not Sib, Shanice. She is to 32. Y'all, the nerve of it to be storming like it is, but shout out to my husband because he about to come get me up out the car. He got an umbrella. I drove trying to cater to him and here he is still happening to be a gentleman. Thank you, babe. Got my forehead out looking like a toad. Oh, so we're going to this restaurant called The Select. Y'all like my Bottega dupes. Honey jewels, baby. Honey jewels. Uh oh, let me see this because we gonna fall out. Atlanta restaurants do not play the radio with you. Like they literally want to take a card from you for a reservation. Did you have to do that for her? we just made it back to the house the rain tried to shit on our show okay but we made it happen the restaurant was super cute how did you enjoy it babe i liked it, it was wasn't good. it nice mm -hmm. it was different it was different i had the braised short rib and sim had the uh lamber yes and we had like a duck some type of appetizer had the bread and our drinks were good too sim got some whiskey and that was 
super strong. But me, I got a um, vodka mixed drink and then I got a tequila drink, which was a pretty good. 10 out of 10, I'm not upset with it. Overall, it was cute. They had like a little live band in there. But um, yeah, definitely something that we can say we experienced. Got that one off of TikTok too. Mm -hmm. It was so inappropriate. Good night, y'all. Hey, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So your girl is up and Adam. I've been so all day. It's already three o'clock, but I was able to finish up with the laundry that I started on yesterday, and I had to make my edits to my CBS content, which included adding captions on to my reel as well as putting some verbiage on the actual story frame so that it could further detail exactly what i was promoting so as of right now i'm gonna try to get out the house and get what i needed to get done yesterday done because i didn't halfway get anything done as y'all know except for picking up sim's gift and running to target to get his card and getting a wax which <laughs> but anyway that's not what y'all was here to know not that it fell off the bone real good, but um, I need to run <laughs> to Lido to get some groceries. I need to still make that trip to the farmer's market, which I don't know if it's happening today, as well as the move to Whole Foods, which is a whole power move at this hour in the day. Yeah, that's probably gonna have to wait until tomorrow too. It's supposed to be some severe storms coming up and through here. And I just wanna make sure that we have the essentials in the house, i.e. water, canned foods. Um, we don't even have no eggs in here. I ain't juiced in how long I had to throw out all that fruit because y'all know, Fruit spoil in the air these days. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. It's um, almost four o'clock, so Sim should be getting home. We already done talked about him and his overtime habits, okay? Within the last few weeks, hopefully he's able to get off at a decent time today because I do want to cook. I have some spaghetti squash that I can throw in the oven, which is gonna be super simple. I just need some meat. And the last time I went to Lidl, they didn't have none of that. Mm -hmm. So I still haven't drank any water today. I found my water cup upstairs in my office slash beauty room. And um, there was a little piece of tumbleweed that I pulled out of there. So I'm going to try to knock out at least that from my list so that we can be adults again in this household. Sidebar Sim loves the little pumpkin pillow and so did my mom and Shayna. I can't wait to film my little decorating piece for either a vlog and a reel or you guys will just see it over on the Springer homepage. So outside of that, your girl is about to go get in the car. What's that thing, what are you doing with the penguins? Three, six, five, no, fucking eight, nine, nine, please, oh, whatever you want. <laughs> Let me go, cause see, see how I play? I just want to swing this ponytail. Bye, y'all. Let's go to the car. Hold down the fort, baby. I'ma see you later. How you so big and so little at the same time? Deuce. Bye, Pooh. Miss you already. Beach. <laughs> Guess what I did? Listen. Listen, your girl done lost five pounds unintentionally. I'm gonna be a skinny bitch. I don't know how this happened. I have been intermittent fasting like I've been telling you guys and I've really been trying to regulate my relationship with food because it's real bad. Like I'm a foodie at heart, real greedy, but I eat small. You know what I'm saying? But I can eat small a million times a day. And they don't be healthy smalls. Well, as of lately, they have been a little bit better. Not really this past week celebrating birthdays. Y'all know what I'm saying. So I've just cut back on a lot of the BS and I got on the scale randomly the other day because it's sitting in my bathroom. I said, hell, might as well let it not be a waste of money sitting in here. And girl, I was five pounds down. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling sexy as fuck. <laughs> I am though about to go run this Starbucks drink back because yesterday I inhaled it. It was so good. I was trying to talk to y'all. All the meantime, in between time, I was knocking that drink straight off the skull. So I am probably going to do that first. And then I'm going to make my way to Little, but I'm not trying to be out all day. Oh, I did say I wanted to run by CVS and add in a clip of the outside of the building. But if y'all know CVS, y'all know. 
I live in the hood. So, um, mine don't look like it do over in the white side of town. So, <laughs> let me go. I'm playing all damn day. Honey, real quick. So, I done updated the software in my choir. <laughs> Custom. I ain't accustomed to having this luxurious information going on, girl. What is this? Electric vehicle. What am I supposed to do? Spanish and French voice recognition, girl. Don't play with Phantom, baby. She is not one of them. Yep. Hello, thanks for choosing Starbucks. Let's start a free One second for me. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Can I do your iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte? Let me do a venti and can I have it with light ice? Thank you. Can I use my points? Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, you too. She act like she know I call corporate on there. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I can get us, uh, I just don't know if this Publix is gonna be foolish now because of what time it is. I can go in Publix and see. But if it's foolish, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. So, I'm actually headed into Publix impromptu because I done ran my big ass mouth and told Sim that we could do subs for dinner. And here I am wanting to cop out of going grocery shopping again. Ridiculous. Just in case I get me some water. change of plans I got my water and I got the hell up out of there because girl I got better things to be doing than waiting in Publix for four hours with one person making subs and the line was looking like it was looking so I don't know what we're gonna eat might be going back to my spaghetti squash but Sim hasn't been eating at work so when he comes home he'd be extra hungry and he got home a lot quicker than what I thought he was actually going to today uh oh so yeah I'm about to go ahead and pop these in the trunk and see what I'm gonna do next. The heat and them pissed me off because it wasn't this bad when I initially came outside. It just got humid and hot and ugly. Let me figure out what we about to eat if I'm really gonna make this run to Lidl like I initially wanted to or if I'm gonna cop out because now I kind of got a little attitude. I ain't gonna lie. I was really banking on that sub line not looking as foolish because the parking lot ain't as bad. And before y'all start with the order ahead of time, y'all ain't understand. And sometimes you just impromptu want a sub and you just want to pull up and be able to get you a sub. Maybe I should go to Firehouse or something. Let me go gather myself up. I'll be back. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so just made it to the store. We're going to stick to the plan at hand because before Sim called us with bad behavior, we were going to grocery shop and that's what we're going to do. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to regret it tomorrow while I'm sitting at home with no food in my refrigerator or in my stomach. So just pulled up to Lidl and we're about to go in before the storm comes because the clouds are um, changing colors quite quickly. Okay, so I'm pulling up to Chick-fil-A because y'all already know what happens after you grocery shop. You come and get some food because who finna cook that food? Who's finna to? I already had to go pick it up, put it in the car and all of that. Absolutely not. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Can I have a name? It's Shanice. You have a great one. Thank you. I didn't show y'all much inside of the grocery store. I'll do a quick little haul for y'all once I get home. I went a little over what I wanted to do, but that's okay because we needed a lot to 
kind of restock our fridge and some pantry items and just get us back on track so that on days like this we can have something to pull from cook and eat instead of eating out because yeah it's getting a little out of control pocket wise and diet wise it looks like the sky is going to cave in later i have like four raindrops on my windshield and i'm just wondering when it's going to open up but i'm hoping that i can get to the house before it does because i am not in the mood to be driving in no crazy rain because when it go from sprinkling to a full-fledged monsoon in a matter of seconds so hopefully i'm able to get home before that starts up phew don't mind that vase with the flowers in it don't mind that plant it was down here getting watered i need to take her back up to my office any home though Here's all of the groceries that I picked up from our fruits and veggies on down to milks and juices. Got some meats back here too. Salmon, chicken thighs, ground beef because I didn't have any ground chicken. Got some lamb chops back there or lamb shoulders rather. Grab some ginger, sweet potatoes, um, zucchini, avocado. Got some limes to make my guac, so to speak, that I put on for my avocado toast. Juicing tomorrow. Got to, okay? Got to. Got some tomatoes here, too. Um, I be giving Deuce Pumpkin in his food sometimes because it's really good for him and it's easy, healthy, quick. And then, um, like I said, juicing, making smoothies. Got some spinach for smoothies. Got some broccoli. More juice more juice we're getting this juice done for what i spent <clears throat> it don't really look like this is gonna fill up anything but it's okay it's okay i also have some kiwis back there that i'm going to juice and that is that i still have some frozen fruit that i can use for smoothies and we're pretty much done got all of our water stocked up so we're good to go i'm about to put these up and we're gonna sit down and eat dinner oh look at how she spelled my name raggedy look at my titties i should really grow up one of these days happy wednesday you guys so today is an editing day thus meaning i really didn't want to get on camera because yeah i ain't put my ponytail back on i'm looking crazy but i am about to make some spaghetti squash i already made the meat sauce so it's sitting simmering and i'm about to wash chop scrape the insides out of these and then oil them down salt them and put them inside of the oven and they'll be ready for my stuff i really just wanted to show you guys the process give y'all some footage today sim and i are probably gonna go get dessert after i get these made and yeah we're just gonna sit in the storm hasn't come our way thank god but that's not to say that it won't. Let me start with the small one. Go on over there, heifer. I know this should be tough. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like and you literally scrape out all of the seeds in this gunk. This is a good alternative for people who don't wanna like consume a lot of carbs because when it comes out, once it's done, it looks just like spaghetti. And this is fairly easy to scrape out too. I guess you could use a big spoon, little spoon, but don't use a fork because then you'll disturb the spaghetti noodles we should probably be on cooking with the springers but y'all we had an editor for those types of videos and right now we don't so i just gotta recommit myself to my other content but the vlogs are so easy to just pick up how i am and go it'd be so much but you want to get these out because they're a bitch to chew on if you forget to take them out of here. Because for whatever reason, the last time I made them, I was chomping down on seeds. And I'm like, I know I scraped the inside out. But maybe I didn't as thoroughly. Boom. 
I really wanted to go try that new Chick Fil A sandwich. What new Chick Fil A sandwich? Let me tell you what gets on my nerves about Chick Fil A. So you pull up and they don't even give you no new menu. They don't tell you nothing about the new menu items or whatever the case may be. So I forgot that they had a cheesy pimento spicy sandwich. I would have got that yesterday. And you know who I seen eating it that made me want it? Who that? Dre in Dallas, that boy that be eating them uh, Popeye's biscuits in one bite. Okay, let's cut the second one down. Dude, get out of the kitchen, man. Yeah, for you eat one of these seeds and you be somewhere in the med clinic tonight. Because I'm going to drop you off. We ain't going in. Do y'all like hearing the raw audio? Because I've really been into that lately. Like, I don't mind letting y'all hear the raw clips instead of, like, putting music and chopping, screwing over it. Like, why do outside food taste so good? Okay. So, you can really brush this on, but um, my brush on the way to the Goodwill. So, <laughs> it just don't match the aesthetics in the kitchen anymore. But you just coat that baby with olive oil. I think I only coat the outside just so it could stay nice and firm, but I'm gonna coat this little bit over here by deuce. And then you put them in the oven face down like this on 400 degrees for about oh, 25 minutes, I wanna lie and say. But literally the inside will get soft like spaghetti. It's so cool to me. I like to put them up on parchment paper because and they just sit here with all this oil on it. I don't want my pans looking nasty. Y'all see it back there face down? Ass salt. Yes, sir. You can salt the inside if you want to, but it takes to season real good, so you really don't have to. Why we ain't give Deuce no middle name? Hi, stinky baby. Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would definitely think about no middle name. I bet Rena the name her dog Trey Alexander. Okay, this is what the titties look like. <laughs> See their face down. You can put some space in between them. Sure, it's not that deep. I'm glad our oven ain't ugly, but it can be cleaned. Mm. It's sizzling on the Okay. I think I let it go for like, oh, it's hot, 20, 25 minutes. So that is what it looks like. Nice and charred around the outside. Hopefully it's good. Y'all, please excuse Deuce eating honey, but you just take your fork and you scrape the inside. Can y'all see? Do y'all see that? So this is a better angle. But if you scrape the sides, you see how it starts to come off and kind of look like spaghetti noodles. Oh God, I don't know. Is it given? Can they see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. So you know, scrape them down. Ooh, that's good. So see, spaghetti squash. This is pretty much what you do to get all of this stuff. So you just keep going until it's all off of there. It's so crazy how this actually works. But yeah, healthy alternative to eating pasta if you guys don't want to. And then you put your meat sauce on top. So let's do that. Add a little Parmesan to the top. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So it's like a personal little bowl. And then, like I told you guys, you can swirl and bring your spaghetti squash right up like that and dig in. Hello. Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. Listen, your girl is about to get up and out of the house, but when I say I ain't have no intentions on leaving the crib today, but I got to go out here and be an adult. Unfortunately, my tags have expired and before September roll in, I think I might as well go ahead and take care of that because it's all of August 31st.
I don't know what myself nor Sim has been waiting on because his are expired too. So while I'm there, I'm gonna see if I can get his renewed one-stop shop. But today on a different level, I am feeling Tommy Pickles when he said, I don't wanna be a big people anymore. How y'all doing this with kids at our age? Girl, I'm so irresponsible, I don't wanna do this no more. Don't, don't. See, the good part about my old car is that the registration and all of that stuff went to my mama house. Very good, very good. So she used to pick it up on my behalf, okay? And, uh, hi. Here we are. Ain't no more of that. Ain't no more of that. I am registered here in Atlanta. Okay. I am no longer a Columbia County registry and I hate this for me, but, um, after I do that, I'm probably going to make my way to get some Starbucks because instead of doing drugs, I'm going to just drink matcha. Which one y'all want? <laughs> Which one y'all want? Take y'all pick. Take y'all pick. And then after that, I'm going to go make this return to Walmart because that apple cider vinegar got to go. And also, them small pillows on the couch that I picked up, I think they gotta go. I do agree. Somebody said in the last video that they're kind of getting swallowed by the bigger pillows. And with the size of our couch, I don't think I want a whole bunch of small pillows. I want to keep the pillows pretty standard size. So I'm going to do like a large, maybe a medium, and a small. So if I get around to it, I get around to it. If I don't, I don't because it's already 2.30. I spent the good majority of my day sitting on that couch and editing last week's vlog, which you guys have already seen by now. It was six hours of raw footage. I am down to now three hours and 45 minutes of raw footage to still cut down. In the vlog, as of right now, with everything that's being left in, is like 56 minutes so that goes to show y'all had a long one and I don't even know how I'd be getting around to filming that much like I need to learn how to periodically put the memory card on the computer so I can see how long these videos are as I'm filming but I folks with y'all for always watching and whatnot I do have some Starbucks gift cards some home goods gift cards and all of the things Okay, from my birthday, from subscribers. Thank you guys so much, Jasmine. Thank you for sending me that beautiful card and that home goods gift card, girl. I really, really appreciate you. You said some heartfelt stuff in there. And I said, girl, I went back and read it this morning and almost had to gather myself up. But no, seriously, I do appreciate any time you guys do send over anything to my P.O. box. You don't have to, but you do. And that is going to forever hold a special place in my heart. So... With that being said, I need to load up that good Starbucks app and put my home goods gift cards together because I think I had one from Carrie or was it Bijan? Did Carrie give me a Starbucks? Bijan gave me Target. Girl, I have so many gift cards that I just haven't even popped the seal on, but I may do that today since I had to get myself together to go to the tag office because you just can't be going places looking crazy as hell and want good customer service because I ain't got time. They always got attitudes in there. So yeah, I'm about to load up, get into the car and I will meet you guys there. Ooh. All right, you guys, just made it out of the tag office. That was quick, easy, and painless. I ain't even gonna lie to you, and it's not far from me at all. So honestly, I should take my legs back home, but I already set my mouth on a matcha. So that's what we're gonna go and get. And then, um, like I said, I'm gonna run those little errands while I'm out. I wasn't able to get Sims registration because, honey, he got a hold on his, then did something up in the school zone. I need to um, give him this little paper so he can call. Pay your debts to the county, honey, so you can get your tag before the cops pull you over. You know, it get worse than that. I was just going to call and try to do it myself, you know, be a great wife, but it's too much. The prompt to get on there and pay with the person i don't have no information in terms of the ticket number i don't know what day it happened so yeah i'm gonna let him do that because i was like number seven in the queue and i was already at the counter and she already told me ma'am you can't use your phone up here and i said you know. <laughs> don't worry about it don't worry about it i'm just gonna 
forget it forget i even tried it so yeah anyway though let me go ahead and make my way to starbies all right you guys i made it in target return was successful i'm about to go get me some starbucks and i'm trying to link my gift card to my starbucks app but it's not working for the life of me so i probably need to wait until i stop Ooh, the sugar scrub is stocked up okay and i see some cute little items over there in the clothes that i'm gonna need to slide back by and see again but we're about to get our good matcha first because we can't do anything until we have our matcha hello hey how are you i'm good i am good can i do a venti iced matcha latte yeah. okay. anything else can i have it with hmm, is can you see that on there pumpkin foam on top but is there chai in there too Okay, let me do um, two pumps of vanilla on the inside and that pumpkin foam on top. And can I have it with light ice? You know what, I didn't because y'all be trying too much for that. Okay. Okay. I'm good today, I'm gonna take that there. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all, I'm really just in here for the vibes, okay? but. They do have 10% off of dog food and treats. So I'm going to get Deuce some of those breath mints because any discount I can get on them, I'ma get them. And he definitely needs them, baby. Minties, this is $10. These are the ones that I typically get him and they're double the price. So I'ma get some of these minties down here because it's 20 in here for $10. It's crazy that cargos are like the new favorite bottoms for everybody. That's a really cute color, but they don't have my size. I'm over here because it's some brown ones that caught my eye while I was walking through. Don't mind me with this purse up here. I'm feeling grown with my purse on and my shoulder, but it happened to be in my car and it matches with my outfit. So, anywho, let's move. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not in here. That's Walmart behavior. Not they are again. Dear girl, let me go try to mind my business. Oh dear. We don't come to Target and do that now. Gone. Gone. It was these. Okay. Hate the sheen up close. Definitely not those. But I thought in my eyes that these had pockets like this had on them, but I'm sadly mistaken. It's pretty depressing, very underwhelming. I don't know why I thought what I thought, but it's not it. Like, why do we have silk cargos? I think this is where we draw the line, silk. I can't see it. I need to see somebody do that. Wait a minute, Target. Hey, hey, these are cute. They're Levi's. But, um, not my size. I need a size or two up, but these are cute. Hold on, because y'all know I lost five pounds. But my waist got to be a 27. Let me see what else they got over here in this hidden gym section. I need a 30. These are a 27 by 30. I was just telling Ashley the other day that I'm over the distressed hole in your jean type vibe. I'm into mom jeans and a little cargo. That's where my vibe is these days. But of course they don't have my size in none of this because the girlies that are my size know to get in here early. This is a cute fall color, not my size, but this is a cute color. Let me see if they have my size. How much are these? This is cute. Could y'all imagine? And it's heavy. Quality. Y'all remember I said it's Levi, right? Something in me thinks that this is so cute. Like the material or the color is something about it. But I'd get tired of it quick. I already know that. But they had these too. Oh, you have 
car right now it's no 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 actually matter of fact i tried to call it and it is okay i can send it to you y'all that was so cute i actually met a subscriber who has a youtube channel saw me vlogging but she was already subscribed to my channel but um she didn't even know it yeah okay let me see i gotta send this number to sam this pillow i need it in another color so it can sit up and just be cute in the couch or in the side chairs. But this green, I know I'm not gonna be able to do nothing with it and it looked like Deuce done been playing with it. It's real um, shaggy. Not the biggest fan of that. Like this one is cute and I want to incorporate like an accent color for this year. Last year I did a burnt orange but the texture and material of that blanket it didn't last for long so i want to do something with some tassels that hang and it's cute and cozy looking for the couch i just don't think i'm in love with this color and i'm not sure that i want to do like the olive green or do i want to go back to a burnt orange so i'm slight not so much not so much like a cute accent color but it's still muted and minimal if that makes sense let me see we can still run to home goody goods so question do y'all be letting y'all kids trick-or-treat because last year we didn't have not one child ring our doorbell and i understand because my mom was a trunk or treat type of mama okay we would go to the church and get candy out of other fellow church members trunks okay but um yeah i was kind of discouraged because i had the vibes for the children and didn't know children come over so let me know y'all be letting y'all kids trick-or-treat do i need to hang it up this year just let it be what it is so y'all know i'm filming an organization video for my bathroom and whatnot soon but y'all look at this this I feel would be perfect because number one it's stackable and then these are two separate drawers right and then they have this down here which I like because even though it stacks you can easily reach your hand in and get what you need out of it those are $12 a piece and this is 15 mm. I don't know I ain't take no measurements because I wasn't supposed to be over here today correct but since we're here and then they have this which I'm sure you can stack on top but I don't necessarily know if I put this up under the sink a lazy Susan for sure because there's one on sim side this and that mmm should I just go ahead bite the bullet and just do it and hope that it fits or should I go home take measurements and then really know what I can fit up under there <sighs> good how are you thank you you too it says you're a professional because I saved me some money today I love that for me girl big mama finished up this matcha today honey all right target run and done. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It is hot out here. Good Lord. That don't make no sense. I got on these fat ass cargo jeans. They heavy as hell, but I changed my mind. I don't want to go to Home Goods. I'm about to go take this thing back to Walmart and I'm about to go home. Okay, because that's where I'm going to be good in my house out of this heat. And sitting up on my couch, I believe Sim should be on his way since he just called me about paying that ticket. So I am about to make my way on home. And whenever I want to make a trip out to the Home Goods in Peachtree City, that's when I'll really do my shopping. Because the one over here, I've been like 
twice now since the fall decorum has started coming out and I haven't really seen what I needed to see. So I'm gonna probably make that run sometime next week. I'm just trying to get through these sponsored things that I need to go ahead and post. So I really want to sit down and get those edited so I can submit them and start getting my content out for these brands because the queens. Okay, baby, the queens. So yeah, I'll see y'all at Walmart. How you doing? Okay. I got a return. That thing was $16? Mm-hmm. And it's nasty, too. It's not the original, which I oh, thought it was. Oh, honey, can I Uh-huh. Nasty. Spicy. Nasty. <laughs> Whoa. It was the only one on the shelf, and I gave it a try, and I said, nah, I ain't gonna get through nah, this. Nah, we ain't making that. Mm-mm. That don't even look like it. The shelf don't. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Ooh. Crank this out. Crank it up. Mm -mm. My edges is rolling up, baby. It's time to go home. It's hot out here. So, is the lighting bad? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on now. All right, bet. So, we out of Walmart. I am, watch yourself there, making my way on home to the house i picked up a few things that i had no intentions on grabbing but sim seasoned some steak the other day so we're gonna go ahead and make little street tacos because i picked up some very small tortilla style wraps i grabbed some chipotle ranch some dandelion extract tea i had a subscriber or somebody that follows me over on instagram tell me about this lady on tiktok she's a doctor and she recommends holistic practices for healing with herbs instead of all the medications that they try to put you on so dandelion root extract was one and i wanted to grab that tea i actually did an order on amazon for a few supplements and i'll show them to y'all some other time because i can't remember all that i picked up yeah so i'm on my way back on to the house y'all why the hell did i text myself my walmart receipt like who do i think i am i don't even have the walmart app or none of that i'm glad i didn't pick anything up that may need to be returned because i can see that as a problem the virgo in me i'm always decluttering and clearing out my inbox so that'd be the first thing to go a message from an unknown number girl please i don't even know why i did that but i just the paper receipts they be getting in the way too because that's all that be in my car doors and um, balled up <laughs> in the pockets of my purse. But I really came out here because I'm about to play some music so I can scream to the top of my lungs. <clears throat> Let's do this. This isn't going to really be a car concert. Perhaps. Not perhaps, but I'm going to listen to some music because I feel like singing. Y'all, I was so young singing this, like, I knew what heartbreak was. Baby, look. I ain't had no bad habits back in the day. We was cheering what you were singing about. Oh, Lord. I thought maybe if I started praying that we would get better apart. So I, I told myself that I would make some changes. And never reach time that we break up. We turn around and make up. It's not the fact that I don't love you no more. And every time you will break up with me for nothing at all Come on now ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I, I told myself I And now he's stressing about a drunk old thing I'll be right there with you Like I used to do He gon' miss me when I'm gone Got that shit, MC I should've held on tight I never should've let you go But I thought I knew everything I was expecting to see my husband's car in the garage and it seems as though I need to go ahead and give my husband a call because why he not in the garage so I could go inside and sing to him a little bit. Whoa. I smell him. That's what I do smell. If you know, you know. Oh, that was good there. 
Who I'm gonna lean on when times gear up? Who's gonna talk to me till the sun comes up? Who's gonna take your place? There ain't nobody better. Ain't nobody better. We belong together. Okay, let me go in the house and quit playing so damn much. Whew, I am hungry, y'all. I don't know why I felt like singing to the top of my lungs just then. And I did it right on time because my phone just died. I don't know what's wrong with my battery or something because why my phone stay dead? It's me. It's not the phone. I understand. Where your daddy at? Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. Come on, get these groceries out the car. Come on. I've been trying to teach you how to get these groceries. Huh, take these to you. Go on, pick it up. Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. That breath be rocking this thing like, ooh, 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 ooh. Finna get my baby breath together, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this big. Ain't nothing, oh, okay. Can I have your fault? Uh, not your body, your fault. Thank you. Ciao. I'm trying to call Sam. Where did he go that fast? Did he go to the gym? I can't sleep at night. You all on my mind. I know this edge right here rolled up. I need to get our camera. I think Sim is going to get a slushy. This man has been obsessed with Sonic. Ever since he figured out how close they were to the house and the fact that they be open late, Sim been on it. Okay. Well, I ain't making him for you. He could go ahead and make those once he comes home. I'm about to eat the spaghetti squash that I ended up not eating last night because I had ice cream before dinner. That's why our parents didn't let us do it. But ever since I done been grown, mm, titty sweating, let me back up. Ever since I done been grown, I wanna eat sweets before dinner and it done ruined my appetite. So that's what I'm about to warm up and I'ma sit down. Once I take these out clothes off, these fat ass jeans to be very specific and eat. And then, um, <clears throat> Once Sim gets home, if anything, I'll pick you guys back up. But if not, y'all will see me tomorrow. getting myself together today until I realized that I promised this footage for the brand to go live today and yeah that's being I had to cut the vlog a little short because I have plenty of footage that could have gone into the remainder of today's video but neither here nor there I need to get my coins from them very good very good but I was gonna come on here apologizing for how short today's video was like it's not an hour long this culture of the long vlog movement is so toxic because why do we feel like vlogs need to be an hour and 20 minutes like girl can we please scale it back and give a good 38 to 45 minute vlog where that was acceptable 
Okay, very good because these are movies that we've been putting up lately. So just know next week's vlog is going to continue the lituation or the vibes. Sim and I did like a car mukbang trying all the new Chick-fil-A stuff. So girl, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I wish I could have uploaded it, but yeah, I'm not about the pulling an all-nighter life anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am in my thirties. Okay. I don't bounce back like I used to. And I have a busy day today. I need to tackle this head. I just got stuff that was not going to allow me walking around here looking like a dust mite. Okay. I cannot be a walking zombie this week. It's very busy. And yeah, we had to go ahead and wrap it up. So without further ado, I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for making it to this point in today's video. Y'all already know I am forever grateful for all of your continued love and support. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Spend the comment section down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'm not really sure what we're doing. How are we making it to an hour of watching somebody that you're not subscribed to? Hmm? It don't make sense. Do it. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell so you don't miss notifications every time I upload. I love you guys so, so, so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace, guys. Da, 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 da.